Hello friends, this is Lindsay for So Fonty. Welcome back to another project video tutorial. Today we're talking about Silhouette Studio. It's a free design software uh, and we're gonna be showing you how you can make the popular split monogram design. So um, these monograms, the split monograms, you can use for lots of different projects. And once you see how easy it is to use, then you'll just wanna monogram all the things. So if you're thinking, hey, I don't have a Silhouette Cameo or portrait cutting machine, don't worry because Silhouette Studio is a free design software that anybody can download and um, you can make these uh, split monogram designs. Um, so open up Silhouette Studio and we'll get started. So first go ahead and open up the Silhouette Studio free design software and then select the desired font and type your initial. I'm using the Intimat font from the June 2022 SVG and Fonts bundle and I threw a link in the video description um, so you can click on that to check it out. And then I'm just going to go ahead and resize this letter so it's really, really big just so it's easier for you to see. Next, you'll use the drawing tools to draw two rectangles over the letter. And actually, I just drew one rectangle um, and then just you right click on it and then click duplicate and then you'll have two that are the same. And um, these are going to be the rectangles that define the space um, where the split is in the monogram letter. And you have some free license here to make the rectangles, you know, as wide or as thick as you want, um, just depending on what you think looks best. And then to make sure that everything is nice and centered, select everything and in the top menu, click align center. And next, what you'll do, select everything again, go into the modify panel and click subtract all. So now what you're gonna do is, uh, click on the letter and ungroup it. So you'll right click on it and select ungroup. And then you'll be able to click on just the parts in the middle. That's what the subtract all did. Um, made those uh, parts between the rectangles um, distinct um, parts that you click on and then delete them. So just click on them and hit delete on your keyboard. And so now what you wanna do is um, with the upper or the top rectangle, you need to shift it up just ever so slightly so that it overlaps with the top part of the M. So just click on it and then just um, press once on the up arrow on your keyboard. We'll go ahead and zoom in here so you can really see that now the rectangle and the top part of the M um, overlap just slightly, which, which is what you want. You need that overlap for the next step. So go ahead and do the same thing for the bottom part, the bottom part of the letter and the bottom rectangle so that they overlap, overlap just slightly. Then you're gonna select the top rectangle and the top part of the letter and you're gonna click weld. And this is what's gonna connect those pieces together. And then you'll do the same thing for the bottom part. And then you can type a name or anything you want and position it in um, the space between the monograms. So I use the Bonaparte font, also from the June SVG and Fonts bundle. And if you need just a little bit more room um, between the parts of the monogram, um, you can just click on the top and then use the arrow key to move it up a little bit. And then of course um, you can select everything and make sure that it's aligned by clicking um, align center so everything is centered. And then once you're happy with how it looks, um, just select everything and right click on it and select a group. And then this is now one design and you can resize it to fit your project. And then there are so many different things that you can do with your split monogram. You can print it out, you can cut it into vinyl, which is what I did. I cut the design into a permanent adhesive vinyl and then transferred it uh, using transfer tape onto a heart-shaped chalkboard that I got at the craft store. And it makes just a really cute personalized home decor sign. So there you have it, friends, making the split monograms, not as hard as it looks. So um, you can go ahead and start monogramming all the things now. So um, if you like the fonts that we used, uh, you can find them in the June 2022 SVG and font bundle at SoFonzy. So there is a link in the video description. Click on that to check it out. And then I hope you have a great rest of your day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.